Siaki Apu Ika was one of my most favorite or favoritest. Okay, I'll, I'll admit it. Grammar was never my strong suit in school, but he was one of my favorite defensive tackles coming out of the 2023 NFL draft. I mean, the dude is just a bowling ball in the middle. He's impossible to move. And there's just, I mean, everything you love about him. Yes, he was compared to Danny Shelton. I know the Browns fans are probably a little bit scarred right now, but come on. Come on, he's his own dude. We'll see what he can do. So well, we're going to bring you back into uh, exactly who he is. But over the last couple of years there for Baylor, the dude was an absolute dude. Three and a half sacks in his uh, quote-unquote sophomore, maybe junior year-ish, maybe not due to COVID. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Six tackles for loss, 24 total tackles. He basically copy and pasted that ta- uh, that ta- uh, tackle total in 2022 with uh, Baylor. And yes, he was a guy that quite honestly, he didn't blow up the stat sheet. But I think specifically where he's going to fit in this Browns defensive line, I think it's beautiful. So right now, yes, the, the Browns have uh, Miles Garrett, who's an absolute stud. You've got Delvin Tomlinson, who you stole from the Vikings, as well as Darius Smith. Kind of funny how that works. But overall, hey, these guys are going to be dudes. Jordan Elliott's an absolute stud on the inside as well. But you've got guys like Siaki Apu Ika. You've got guys like Perrion Winfrey. Those two might be like the perfect duo for the Browns later on in the future because you got Siaki Apu Ika, who's just a, a guy that can really stuff up the running game. You've got Perrion Winfrey who gets after the passer. And uh, honestly, I think it's going to be a recipe for success down the line. But yes, they got to learn. They got to do their thing and uh, continue to develop. We understand all of that. But Siaki Apu Ika, uh, you know, like we mentioned, uh, was compared to Danny Shelton. And yes, of course, NFL.com has to do this to him. Yes, the NFL comparison. But overall, uh, we'll go ahead and get to it with the overview here. He's a girthy interior force with heavy hands and a combative nature at the point of attack. Ika is made for gap control with his wide frame and ready anchor while he has the potential to become a highly effective block eater as an odd or even front nose tackle he's quick enough off the snap to penetrate and disrupt play design if teams try to block him one-on-one while he's unlikely to see passing downs Ika does have enough athleticism and hand and hand hand work to challenge the pocket from time to time if he's able to manage his weight Ika could become an early starter and help improve a leaky run defense like we mentioned yes Danny Sheldon all of the you know whatever comparisons you want to make but like I said he's his own dude I've loved this dude if you watch any tape on this guy you see he controls the line of scrimmage as a defensive tackle he literally pushes two or three offensive linemen back every single time he's on the field and th- there's just some things you can't coach he's an Im- he's an immovable force he's a guy that you can put on for two downs maybe even three after you develop a little bit more things with him uh and honestly you're not going to put this guy in as a pass rusher you're just not we're going to call a spade a spade here but he should play the majority of the brown snap especially uh snaps excuse me especially from a run defense perspective because you're not going to find a better run defender. He reminds me literally of Pat Williams from the Vikings, like just gets like just immovable. It takes two or three guys to move him if you are even going to move him. And it really makes it tough for opposing teams to establish a running game. I think Siaki Apu Ika, especially getting him in the third round, this guy was literally projected to go, uh, I know, according to NFL.com in the fourth or fifth round, but every mock draft that we had seen, he was going anywhere from the, you know, mid to late seconds to even as high in the uh, for late in the first round. So this guy is a steal. I think he's going to come in right away for the Browns. Might not start, but he's going to come in. He's going to learn for a year, maybe two, and he's going to be an absolute force for him, and I cannot wait to see it. But let us know what you guys think. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, uh, subscribe, and comment. Uh, let us know what you guys think, though, at the end of the day, about Siaki Apuika being the Browns' steal of the draft.